Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be shifting gears from previous content, previous videos. I wanted to um, not just do my unboxing of my boxy charm, but I want to go over, share a few of my favorite products that I've been using on a regular basis, not just like for the month, but pretty much every day to where I'm repurchasing and running out of some things and there's just a couple more things that I want to share with you guys. So I want to um, do the, un not so much the unboxing, I did open the box yesterday and kind of just kind of went through it because I was busy and just like in and out so I didn't really get a chance to sit down and go over like the prices and read up on the products. But this month's BoxyCharm is Ah Natural, and um, so let's see, what does it come with? You're going to put on the readers, you know, you know how I feel about these guys. And the lighting might be a little bit off just because the sun's kind of shining in this window. I have the blinds closed, so i um, trying to block some of that out. But the first product we have in the BoxyCharm is the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask, and I did try this. Um, once and uh, yesterday I should say um, and it's called Elemis yeah it's by Elemis and it's superfood vital veggie mask nourishing prebiotic green mask um, advanced skin care so it's supposed to be super hydrating um, it feeds your skin let me just read what it says get a shot of green goodness with this treatment mask that nourishes soothes smooths and brightens for softer smoother more radiant skin um i'm sure i have to use it a few times to to tell you if it's giving me radiant skin um i mean it felt really good it didn't burn it tingles just a little bit and i think it's supposed to do that this retails for 35 dollars, so you've already made your money back from the box um next up we have butter london natural goddess eyeshadow palette um, serving, serving Queedom realness, bring out your inner goddess in Butter London's vibrant natural goddess eyeshadow palette. Enchant with six highly pigmented, long-lasting shades, whether you're feeling like a diva or a temptress. These cruelty-free shadows pair effortlessly to create imaginative looks that will make a powerful entrance. Um, this, I love this packaging. It's like, almost looks like wood and just the flowers it's it's really pretty it kind of looks like the box or the packaging for the i think it's a tart one of my palettes the tart pal i'll have to i should have brought it up but anyway um and it's the butter london so it's natural goddess um has your little insert that i love you guys know i love and it comes with a really nice mirror and i love that and the colors in this palette are um, Enchantress, Queen, Star, Diva, Temperess, and Femme, F Femme Fatale. So without the glare, you can see the shades. There's two mattes, and it's the brown and the bluish color. Um, I did use this palette today on my eyes, and I don't know, I used, let's see, three colors out of this palette, and... They are really buttery, and I don't know if that's, you know, the whole Butter London thing, but they were really buttery, really creamy, and they were easy to blend, and I thought, why not use the palette and then talk about it, but I really liked it. Um, I'm excited to get more uses out of it, but I really love this. It reminds me of like a, like an incense holder or an incense box. Um, I don't know. It's really cool. And that retails for... $32. So the boxy charm, as you know, is $21 a month. Um, so you've made your money back already twice. Um, next up we have the Lexi three piece brush set. And I think I may have got these exact same brushes. Maybe not, but it's a set of three. And let's see, these are eco-friendly Lexi brushes, apply foundation with the Lexi 510. Blend your eyeshadows with the Luxie 250 and color to your crease with the Luxie 246 Precision Crease Brush. These retail for $30. So it comes in just like this little cardboard package. Um, 
They look similar to the Luxie brushes that we got in one of the other BoxyCharms, except I think the the actual, this part is kind of like, it kind of looks like the wood on this palette. I mean, it's like a pinkish colored wood. I don't know if you can see the lines in there, um, but it does look like wood. And I mean, they are kind of wood, but and they have the names on there. So this is a Luxie 510 foundation brush, um, really soft brushes, white haired brushes, and the precision crease. It's good if you're trying to do like a cut crease or just to pack on color and then a nice blending brush. So I'm excited to use those. I don't think I've even used my Luxie brushes from my last palette or last box because, you know, there's so many brushes. I have so many brushes, I should say. Um, I'll give you, they give you a $10, I guess $10 off. Um, th this is what they said that the mask looks like, but that's not what it looked like when I put it on. So I don't know what that's about. Um, also, this is so cool because I, you always, I have actually, I have like five eyelash curlers. Um, that some of them have like the what do you call them these rubber things the replaceable refillable rubber things that i just didn't refill and i just buy new ones i know it's lazy and i know it's wasteful um but i mean i always have an extra eyelash curler because you can't have too many this one's really pretty it's kind of like um rainbow iridescent and this is by pure cosmetics and the little the little rubber thing in there is purple, so it's really cool. I haven't used it yet. And let's see, this is the Pro Eyelash Curler, and it retail, retails for $18. So, um, I mean, eyelash curlers and eyelash curl, I know they all have their own little, um, you know, st uh, positives and pluses to them. But this says, you're about to take lashes to new lengths. Literally, prep lashes for a coat of your favorite mascara with your new Pure Eyelash Curler. Instantly perks up each individual lash for a look you will love. So I'll have to try this tomorrow and let you guys know how it, you know, differs from my other eyelash curlers. And let's see, last product in the box is this Ofra. Long lasting liquid lipstick in Santorini. Um, I haven't tried it yet. And you know, Ofra, cause Ofra lipsticks are really good lipsticks and they're long wearing, um, creamy, not drying. And this is the Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick is a one step full lip color that does not feather, which is good because if you've ever worn lipsticks that, you know, you've had it on for a little while and they're kind of like start bleeding and it looks, not very attractive at all which is what you have to be careful with when you're doing a like a, a, a bright pink or purple or gray anything that's not nude um, because if it's nude and it bleeds you can't really tell too much but so this is um, it's creamy soft in texture moisturizing the lips and creating a long-lasting lipstick effect no need to use lip liner this liquid lipstick gives a beautiful edge to your lip look so it's got like a pointy little applicator where you could actually define your lips and I'm not going to put it on because I just have lip balm on, but it's um, really pretty and it's super smooth. It's a pretty color, you know, um, I'm going to try it, you know, different colors some, sometimes aren't so flattering on me, like certain pinks, like I have to be careful with certain pinks because pinks tend to make your teeth look yellow and if you drink coffee and stuff the last thing you want is for your teeth to look you know extra stained from the coffee um but i've been using this charcoal toothpaste and also you can use baking soda and lemon juice and make like a little mixture and brush your teeth with that you probably only want to do it like maybe twice a week but it does lift um some of the stain off uh if you're a coffee tea drinker um it does help so just to kind of keep your teeth you know you don't want your teeth just to turn brown and just leave them that way like you've got to pay attention to your teeth because when you speak pe people are pretty much noticing your teeth when you talk they're like looking at your mouth the majority of the time 
Um, so this palette, I mean, this box was a pretty good box as far as price wise goes. I mean, 35, 32, 30, 20, and 18. So that's a pretty good amount of um, makeup or just for what they charge for the makeup, I guess I should say. Would I pay that much? Probably not. I definitely wouldn't pay. Let's see. This Butter London is $32. It is really a good palette. The, the colors are really worth it. But would I pay $32? I might. I might. But that's the BoxyCharm. If you guys got BoxyCharm this month. I haven't got my Ipsy bag yet. So that usually takes a while for some reason. Um... But the Ipsy, I've really been loving Ipsy because I've been getting some pretty good little gems in there. And um, what I don't use or what I think I'm not going to use, um, I'll give to my daughter. Um, or I have a friend that I was going to give some stuff to and I'm still gathering stuff. It's just been so crazy. My life has been so hectic as you guys saw in past previous um, videos. Um, but... You know, I can't just say it's been crazy and now it's calming down because every day is different and I'm just really not going to say that because, you know, I just kind of take one day as each day as it comes. So let me put the little readers down for a minute. I do want to go on to some skincare, just a little bit of skincare because I've really, really, really been loving this um, Origins. It's by Origins. And it's the Drink Up Intensive um, Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Swiss Glacier Water. This is the most hydrating, best feeling on your skin um, after you've cleansed your skin and, you know, done your nightly routine, cleansing, toning, um, whatever you're doing um, on a nightly routine. I use this every night. Once in a while, I'll get really tired and maybe I'll skip this step, but... I'm talking maybe like once a week, if that. Um, so I really, I've really been loving this. A little of it does go a long way. It's super hydrating. Like when you put it on, I mean, it feels like if you touch your skin, like it's like still wet, but it's not. It's just so hydrating. It's not sticky. Nothing comes off. It's super, super moisturizing. And, you know, I put it on before bedtime. Sometimes if my skin's feeling kind of dry, after I shower and cleanse my face in the morning, sometimes I'll put a thin layer of this um, instead of like a moisturizer just because it works so good and I love it. I love the Origins. Um, I've also been using and loving this daytime um, Ginseng Origins. Um, it's energy boosting gel moisturizer. And this is also the Origins. And super got this little thing on it it smells like oranges so it's real citrusy and a little of this does go a long way also I've been using this during the day um, before I put my makeup on um, I do use my serums first so if I'm using a serum that day after moisturizing and um, toning um, I will go in with the serum whatever serum I'm using for that day whatever under eye um, treatments I'm using and then I'll go in with this moisturizer and or I'll do these two together um, just depending on how my skin feels um, I've also been loving for my under eye I hate that light right there I'm so sorry I've also been loving the origins again um, under eye brightener oh no no this isn't the origins I'm sorry is this the origins yeah these two are the origins and this one is the um, Ole Henriksen, and this is a really good under eye brightener. Um, I really, really love this. And it also, they crooked. They also, it also smells citrusy, and a little of this does go a long way. I've been using this for. I've had this particular little bottle for or pot. I want to say at least three, four months. So a little bit does go a long way. I'll use this prior to um, priming my under eye and color correcting. I use this first and then I'll go in with my um, primer, under eye concealer primer um, with the Smashbox one. But this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, Vitamin C and Collagen Boosted. Um, so this works really good if you guys suffer from 
dark circles or if you suffer from um, just dry under eyes this is really good it really does brighten your under eye I suffer from dark circles not really intense dark circles but you know some dark circles you know because let's be real you know sometimes we don't get as much sleep as we should and sometimes you know our age kind of peeks through every now and then depending on the amount of stress that we're under um, also one more thing for the under eye that I've been loving and I've been using this for about a year now and I love it I keep repurchasing it um, although it does a little goes a long way and because I do use incorporate so many different I mean these aren't the only ones that I use but these are the main ones that I use so um, the ones that I reach for the most these are the ones that I use almost on a daily well definitely a daily with the origins but this is the it cosmetics confidence in an eye cream and this is also a brighten um, and repair um, cream or under eye cream and a little does go a long way with this I've had this one for like six months and I don't know if you can see I'm trying to cover the light and I don't know which way to cover it there we go you can kind of see and it's just kind of like a lotiony you could just feel the moisture in it it's really good it cut anything to it cosmetics I've been loving their CC creams but right now I just want to tell you like the main things that I've really been using um first off when I take my makeup off um, at night this is I've been loving the Clinique take the day off cleansing oil this is a really good cleansing oil you guys if you haven't tried it you have to try it it's um, I don't remember the price on this I want to say like thirty two dollars maybe not maybe not quite that um, but it's definitely worth it I know it sounds like a lot of money but I've been using this for a really long time and I do alternate with um, the my Meisler waters and I'm all out of my my clean green um, what's it? it's a little tub I think it's by I want to say the origins but I could be wrong Sephora sells it it did come in a boxy charm and I thought it was just exclusive for boxy charm but I saw it at Sephora so I do have to repurchase that because that is a amazing you just rub it on your face your eyes your eyebrows everything comes off instantly go in with the makeup wipe take that off and then go on with your cleansing but I've really been loving this oil um, for taking off your makeup and at night this is what I've been using and sometimes in the morning and I'm almost out of it as you can see it's kind of like a shampoo consistency and this is the kale green tea spinach vitamins superfoods um, cleanser I've been using this after I obviously after I do the um, oil removing the makeup the makeup wipes the um, micellar waters um, and then I'll go in with this um, face wash it's really gentle I've also been liking the um, what's it called darn I should have grabbed it um, it's a honeybee it's a honeybee, a honeybee cleanser. It's super soft. I've also been loving the Aveeno. I should have grabbed that. The Aveeno um, soft cleanser. That's a really good um, cleanser to use morning, morning and, and night, anytime. Um, but this is really good. It's got the green tea in it, so I like to use it in the mornings especially. Um, and just kind of like not scrubbing, but using my um, Tahitian cloths for my face. Um, there's some super great good benefits to that. Um, let's see. I'm going to just talk about one of my serums and I have several serums, but the one that I really like to use at night and sometimes during the day, lightly, if I'm really super dry, I will actually go in with one of these serums. Like the, this is the Alo Hyaluronic Acid Serum, reduces wrinkles and tones the skin. And I really love this. This is my second bottle. Um, so a lasts a really long time I got this one I think at TJ Maxx and I think I paid $5.99 they always have these um, sometimes they have like the um, what are they the Olo ones they have the rose just just rose scented um, serums and just the Olo by itself um, I've really been loving the coconut sprays I don't want to get into all that but I've really been loving these hydrating um, coconut water this one has hyaluronic acid in it um, I have the coconut rose I talked about this in one of my last favorites videos 
Um, this is by Pure Essence, and it's the Coconut Rose. Really hydrating, really refreshing. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been using. And what I've been using for, among all my many setting sprays, is the Catrice um, Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Spray. I really like this, you guys. It's, um, I'm trying to like pass that sunlight. So it's a, um, it's the Catrice Prime and Fine. It's hydrating, it's lightly illuminating, not really. It smells really pretty, kind of floral. It's super light. Um, and I've also been loving these little fans that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. These are great for if you're having hot flashes, of course, and keep one of these in your purse. They're only a dollar, like Dollar Tree. I got like four of them. Um, but I mean, if you suffer from hot flashes, these are good to carry in your purse. If you don't want people to think you're an old lady, I don't know if I would do this in public, but these are good for setting sprays to, I use them to, to, to uh, fan my face after I put the setting spray on. Um, so that's a setting spray that I'm currently loving and I've been reaching for it the most. Um, I forgot an under eye um, product that I've been using and this is the Andalou or Andalou um, line and this is the eye serum brightening. It's another brightener. So what I'll do with this is sometimes I'll use this in the morning and sometimes I'll just use it at night. It just depends. And I kind of alternate and I think I only have like that much left in there. Um, but I've really been loving that. And I also use the, let me just reach for this. It's the Andalou and I have the nighttime one too and it's like in a purple bottle. But this is the illuminating toner with vitamin C, clementine, clementine and vitamin C. And it's a toner that comes in a pump bottle. It smells really good also. I know I shouldn't spray it on but it's a toner and sometimes I'll just spray it directly on my face and sometimes I'll just put it on like a cotton round and, the, and then do it that way. So it just depends. But the Andalou or Andalo, this is really good. These are really good products. So, I mean, I will repurchase these. Um, I think this is my second one of this in particular because I'm always looking for hydrating under eye brighteners and anything that's going to prevent creasing or decrease creasing. Um, also, as far as face products go, um, I've really been loving this No Problem. Um, we got this in BoxyCharm, I think a couple months ago. And this is really good for if you suffer from large pores or texture. And what I do is I'll use this prior to whatever other, um, primer I'm using. Um, just depending on what my skin is, is feeling like, if it's dry, if it's, you know, kind of oily some days, I will use this and it is, it's a blurring and it also fills little pores and you kind of just pat it around. I usually put it like right around here, kind of my T-zone area. I have larger pores right here. Um, I think that comes with age too. So, um, under eye corrector, one I've been reaching for the absolute most, um, obviously because they're all pretty full except for my Becca under eye brightener color corrector I have this in light medium this is it kind of looks pinkish but it you guys this really really does cancel out all the darkness and discoloration um, I mainly have dark circles more on my left eye than I do my right eye for whatever reason um, but the whole left side and the right side is completely opposite anyway but I've really really been loving this Becca I highly recommend it um, I pretty much have Benefit, It Cosmetics, um, NYX, um, Sigma. I have several under eye correctors and I mean, I do use them, but this is the one that I reach for the most. And I'm gonna repurchase this. And if I don't repurchase it soon, I'm gonna to start to have panic, you know, a little anxiety, but I'll probably be purchasing this within the next couple weeks. Um, let's see, quickly. Let's go over, as far as skin and lips go, we'll just talk about what I've been loving and been using for the past couple years. And I can't not use these ever. And these are the Bath & Body Menthol Lip Shines. Um, 
I have every every one that there is to have. I have this one's spearmint, I think. And then this one is like a peppermint. Oops. This one is like a peppermint, um, but it's got a little shimmer tint to it. So it's kind of pretty if you're just looking to wear, you know, just a lip balm with a little bit of a, a shimmer or, you know, just gives your, your, your lips a little kiss of color. This one is, this one's mint also. Um, and this, I know it looks like it's purple, but it really doesn't go on purple. It has just the lightest, lightest, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it was purple. But these are so, so hydrating, you guys. Like, I cannot stress enough. These are super hydrating. I have one in every purse, every jacket, every, you name it. And sometimes I'll open one up and... Then I change, you know, after I shower, have my robe on or whatever. And then I'm like, where did it go? So I go on these mad hunts for these because they always disappear because these are my absolute favorite. I have a stock of them. I keep a backup. This one here, this is the night one. I talked about this before. The night balm It's a smaller tube, but it's a lot thicker consistency. And I use this all day. Like I'll use these too. But these kind of wear off a little bit faster. These stay on your, this one stays on your lips for the entire night. I'll wake up in the morning or even if I wake up and drink water at night, um, you know, and then you would think it would, you know, all the lip stuff would come off of sleeping and stuff. But I wake up and my lips are still moist um, and then I reapply it in the morning. But I use this every day. This is the absolute best one out of all of them. So, um, yeah. Like you need to get those if you haven't tried them. Um, other primer that I've been reaching for the absolute most. I know I'm going backwards, but I just forgot to mention this one. This is the One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. This goes a long way. I have had this for I don't know how long. I just know that it's been over six months. Um, super if you're oily. Um, let's see. Let me just tell you real quick. Um, okay, so it's instant perfecting power, shine block, 12 hour matte. Okay, so it shrinks your pores and it's a 12 hour. I didn't even know it was a 12 hour, um, but it does work and it does keep the oil from um, peeking through. And I get really oily right here. I mean, that's pretty, every now and then, like I have a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil. I will have a little bit oil here. Um, but I generally get oily and you can see a little bit of a shine now and it's actually not oil. It's actually kind of dewy, um, because I'll tell you why, um, I've been, okay. I talked about the, um, Juvia's Place foundation. I love it, you guys. I love the Juvia's Place foundation. If you have not tried it, you do need to get it. It's in this little tube, and it's super full coverage. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel cakey, and I love it, and I just can't wait for the concealer to come out. I think I could probably order the concealer online, but the Ulta by my house had this, but they haven't got the concealer, and they don't know when they're going to get it. Um, the other Ulta that I, I'll go back, and there's like three Ultas that I go back and forth from but one of the Ultas doesn't even have this in yet so I really love this foundation and I am going to repurchase it um and what sh I have mine in the shade let's see Capri 630 so if you haven't tried it you guys have to try it I'm excited for the concealer if it's anything like the foundation I'm gonna love it also okay this is a hidden gem and I've only been able to find this at Dollar General crazy enough but this foundation, this LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation, you guys, okay, that's what I'm wearing today. I don't know if you can tell. It's got pretty good full coverage. It's not the fullest coverage, but it's got full coverage. It's not oily. It's not cakey. It's not sheer. It's freaking amazing foundation. You guys have to get your hands on this. I think any, no matter what skin type you have, and I have tons of foundations and um cc creams and just the la girls i mean la girls 
<laughs> LA Color Truly Matte. I have this in the shade Nude. And it's $4. $4 at Dollar General. I stopped on my way home today. Went and got my nails done. Just trying to do pretty summer things. Um, so I went and got my nails done today. And there's a Dollar General on my way home. And I said, you know what? You're stopping at Dollar General. Like, for nothing else but at least to get some more of this. It doesn't feel very heavy, but it's, um, let's see, how much is it? It's 1.35 fluid ounces. Um, you guys, I'm not kidding. Like, this is a high-end coverage foundation, and you know how much it costs? Four dollars. Four dollars. So, I stopped on my way home today, and I picked up two more bottles because... This is the only Dollar General that I know of that's still open. And I'm not saying that they don't have it anywhere. I think you can find LA Colors at Dollar Tree sometimes. But this is probably the only thing that I haven't seen at Dollar Tree is the foundation. And I saw a review. I saw a girl who uses it off and on. And she loves it. And she's always raving about it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try if I can find a Dollar General. Um, and I was on my way home one day and there was a Dollar General. So I was like made a beeline and yeah the rest is history you have to get it you guys you'll love it um four dollars a bottle we're t we're paying 20 30 dollars for foundations this is four dollars a bottle like it's a freaking no-brainer um another thing i've been loving um obviously is my butter bronzer we know that i love this bronzer even though it's so pan i have a backup don't even worry about it. Don't even trip potato chip because I make sure that the products that I love that I have a backup. Um, so no, I'm not hoarding makeup. Some of, some people say I hoard makeup, but hoarding makeup is when you buy makeup and you hoard it and you don't use it or you don't share it. I use my makeup. I alternate my makeup. I share if I have too much, I'll donate. I'll you know, give again to my daughters or whoever. Um, one of my my son's ex-girlfriend, um, we are still really good friends. She's a sweetheart. She's like another, my adopted daughter. Um, I did give her some, some makeup and a little gift package because she's so sweet. She messages me all the time. You know, it's not just like here and there. She's kept in touch with me for the past over two years since her and my son broke up. And, um, so yeah, I fixed her a little goodie bag of makeup and I like to do that periodically because, you know, we get all this BoxyCharm stuff, we get the Ipsy bag stuff. Sometimes I'll buy, you know, more than one thing um, of a product that's pretty reasonable, reasonably priced. Um, and if I have like two or three, then I like to give one away, especially when I really like it and I know that someone else doesn't have it and could use it. So butter bronzer. Out of all the bronzers I have, this is even above my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is above my Too Faced bronzer. This is above any other bronzer. Um, yeah, butter bronzer. Physician's Formula butter bronzer. Um, brows, brows real quick. Benefit Brow. This is my favorite uh, precise my brow pencil, and I have this in... Five. I usually do five or six depending if they have five I get five if they don't I'll get six but I love this pencil I don't know why I have both of the Anastasia um, the fine tip one and then I have you know the fatter tip one um, but I use this over the Anastasia ones all the time I've refilled or I've repurchased so many times don't you feel bad throwing these away like you feel like you're throwing away a tool that is still you. So I hang on to these. I have like three or four. I've thrown them away, but um, it's a tool. It's like, why would you throw away something that's still working? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a good tool for your brows. Um, but I have a zillion spoolies, but I highly recommend this. Um, I don't know. You know, everybody has their favorites and that's mine. Um, uh, my favorite brow pomade is the Kat Von D Super, what is it, the Super 24 hour or 16 hour. This is the Super Brow Long Wear Pomade. Um, I have it in the shade Walnut. 
Um, it's gorgeous, of course, Kat Von D packaging. And I've had this for a while. You guys probably saw me talk about it. Um, a little of this goes a long way. And when you get your brows on, once you get them on and you, you know, blunt, you brush them through and everything, they're locked on. Like they're not going anywhere. I've really, really been loving that. Um, back to some skincare really quick. Cause I forgot this guy, this, I've been using this hemp. I love the hemp lotions. I have the pineapple, I have pomegranate, I have the original and this smells exactly like the original it even goes on like the original um it's like the white like the original and but the thing about this is okay so this gives you it's a bronzy moisturizer you guys now if you self tan you know that it can get kind of tricky with self tanning because i mean you got to make sure that you're doing distributing it distributing it evenly and being careful around your knees, your elbows, like your ankles. You don't want to put too much product there because then you've got like these dark spots that look like rotten potatoes or something. So um, it doesn't leave you orange. It literally, if you can see, it gives you like a golden natural glow. Um, and I love this. I love it. So I've been using it all over my body. It's a hint of tan, all year long moisturizer. It smells really good. It's I mean, hemp, these hemp lotions are really good anyway. Um, and I got this at, did I get this at Sally's? I think I got this at Sally's. And normally it's like 20 some dollars, but I got this for like $11. So um, I'm going to repurchase it. And I hope it's not just seasonal, but I've got a half, a half a bottle left. And I've been loving this. I've been using this and my Jergens Glowing Lotion. Um, and I just, it gives me like a, a tan look and I do have a little bit of a tan but um I did buy some spray tan um it's over there but I can't remember the name of it from Ulta it comes with the mint and everything this is way better um you guys have to try it if you self tan or if you're like you you haven't had a chance to self tan pick up a bottle of this and put it on like after you shower or after you take a bath and it'll give you a tan within a few minutes and not an overpowering, streaky tan. It's a really pretty tan. So that I highly recommend. Um, and one little quick thing here as far as, okay, I picked up this little palette. I think I showed you guys this palette in one of my past um, videos. And it's a little mini um, Makeup Revolution. It's called Cho Mint, C-H-O-E Mint. Anyway doesn't smell like anything but um this is a really good little palette you guys like it's a really good palette it's the colors in there are perfect um they're really buttery buttery shadows and i do have three other makeup revolution palettes but this one is creamier and i don't know why and it was only like seven dollars um but it, yeah this is a really good little palette. So if you guys see this at your, um, at Ulta, pick one up. Like it's totally worth the $7 and you'll see what I mean when you use it. Um, and as far as my favorite highlighters, I'm just going with what's my, been my absolute favorite lately. And it's, of course it's my Tarte, um, quad highlight. And it's got the four different shades. You can see which ones I use the most. And I love this highlight palette. It's, it still smells like cocoa. I like to um, use like these colors here, these two shades here. I like to use those for my body. So like on my collarbones, um, you know, your shoulders. When I have my hair up, I like to put it on the back. Um, I've been wearing my hair down lately, but today I, my hair is still really curly and I didn't get a chance to straighten it. So I just threw it up. Um, but yeah, this tart, I think any tart, I don't know. I know this was, they don't have this particular one anymore, but, um, most of tarts, my pillow fell. Most of tarts, um, highlighters, um, are really good. So, my favorite perfume, I have so many perfumes, you guys. All the Juicy Couture uh, perfumes I have. 
I have I, the newest one is the wheat and I really love that one so anytime a new juicy couture perfume comes out because I love um, juicy I love the original Viva La Juicy that's probably my favorite one but oh my god I, I usually don't like floral smells I usually don't you know I'm not really like a floral type girl but Man, like lately, I've been smelling some really good perfumes, but this one has got to be my absolute favorite, and this is the Gucci Bloom. You guys, it's really not that expensive. I mean, it's a little bit pricey, but when you're buying perfumes like this and, you know, you're paying a pretty penny for them, I mean, it lasts all day. Like, these perfumes last all day, and look how sleek the packaging is. It's just so pretty. It's like a, a nude, like rose gold, you know? And, um, oh my God. It, it's not just floral. I can't think of what it is. If you go to Sephora or you go to Ulta and you go to the perfume area, like, try it out. It, it, it's a real fine mist. You only need a little bit of it. Oh my God. It's the most beautiful, feminine, light, summery, perfumes. I mean, you could wear it all year, all year round, but this is my absolute favorite. And I've been using this every day since I got it. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I want to say, I want to say 60 or $70. Um, I'm not for sure, but I want to say 60 or $70, but I mean, it's Gucci, you know, so you kind of getting what you pay for, but I highly recommend that perfume. I love it. It's like my favorite perfume. Okay. So, so food for your spirit. Um, I do reading a lot of reading, not a lot of reading, but I read. And when I read, um, I like to read stuff that is, you know, um, feeding my spirit things that are making me feel better and encouraged and motivated and inspired. And I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of the secret. If you haven't seen the movie um, or read the book, vice versa, whatever, you have to start off with The Secret, okay? Out of all these books that I'm going to show you guys, you have to start off with The Secret. So you can watch the movie or you can read the book. I think reading the book is you get more information. And then, I mean, obviously you can go right back to, you know, little highlighted things that you have. Um, this is a really, really good book. It's a life-changing book. Um, I recommend that everybody read The Secret at least one time. You need to, trust me. Um, these next books that I've been, well, I've actually read two and I'm on, I'm on about a quarter into the third one. I should be done with it, but with all the videos and all the other stuff that I have going on, um, it's really hard to sit down and just read. I do have a lot of time on my hands, as you all know, um, but to actually sit down and read a book without, you know, your phone going off or, you know, you got to be somewhere. I mean, I really have to carve out some time. Sometimes at night, I won't turn my TV on. I'll go to bed and I'll just grab one of these, well, the current book and I will read until I like, get sleepy. So, um... But these are by um, Don Miguel Rees, and this one you want to, this is the one you have to start off with, and this is The Mastery of Love. This is a life-changing book, let me just tell you, it's a, it's a life-changing book. Um, and these are, um, so The Mastery of Love, and there, it's about the Toltecs. Um, it's a practical guide to the art of relationship, this particular one. This will change your opinions and thoughts and views on love and what love looks like and whatnot. So you have to start off with the mastery of love. First the secret, then the mastery of love. The next one, um, I'm, I'm reading this for the second time. Little bookmark. I'm reading this one for the second time and this one is the four agreements. Um, and this is, so this particular one is a practical guide to personal freedom. Um, all by Don Miguel Rees. And then this third one is the fifth element. So this is the mastery of love. Then we got the four agreements. Um, life changing, you guys. Life changers. I promise you. And I just promise you. Um, so I'm on the fifth agreement. Um, and this one is written by, I think, him and his son. I think they're both 
him and his son were both. Um, so it's Don Miguel Rees and Don Jose Rees. And um, it's the, it's about the Toltecs. And it's, it's these books are, this is a practical guide to self-mastery. Um, I don't want to like give it away. All I can say is look them up. You know, if you want to just get an idea, you can Google them and you can get a little bit more information that way or maybe YouTube or something. I don't know. But I really, 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 really recommend if you get any books, if you really want to feel better mentally, spiritually, physically, you get these books. Um, they're worth every penny. They're not very expensive. I think I paid... Um, Okay, so this one, $12.95. So they were like $13 each. Yeah, they were like $13 each. But I guarantee you, I promise you, they're going to be worth every penny that you pay for them. And The Secret, everybody needs to read The Secret. Even if you don't get any of these books, everybody needs to either read The Secret or watch the movie of The Secret or the show. So that's all I have for today, you guys. Um, I just wanted to share some of my... Um, my little gems um, and my go-to's and just trying to stay motivated and positive and you know regenerate regroup um, reflect and you know try to stay in the moment and stay present that's what I'm trying to do as you guys know I'm trying to um, filter out you know any negativity as much as possible we can't you know filter it all out we can't cut it all out but how we deal with things and how we respond to things or how we don't respond or react um plays a big role in how we're gonna feel you know we can determine our day we really can and we can determine you know our thoughts and we could change our thoughts they're hard to do sometimes when you get caught up in the moment but for the most part um i'm doing pretty good with it um if it means walking away from a situation that's not healthy for a little while, then that's what I'm doing and that's what I recommend, you know, you guys doing. Um, just stay safe and take care of you, love you, and, you know, you matter and love yourself because we have to love ourselves. It's so cliche. We love to love ourselves before anybody else can love us and we show people how to treat us also. So respect and love yourself and um, those who love you and who matter who are meant to stay in your life will stay in your life and sadly those that walk away or we want them to go away because we really don't need them and they're really not healthy for us so sometimes letting go is hard and I'm the first person to have a hard time letting go and knowing when enough is enough but I'm really doing good with that guys so um yeah with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and share my videos. And I hope you found this video helpful and or relatable. Remember, sign up for BoxyCharm. It's worth $21 for $140 worth of makeup. It's so worth it. Get these books. And yeah. I think that's going to be it for tonight, guys. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.